So what do you get if you mix a lemur, a raccoon, a panda, and a whole bunch of red together? Either you get Pabu from Nickelodeon's Legend of Korra, or you get a red panda. I've had a lot of requests to do red pandas, and I have to tell you, I have seen like pictures of red pandas, but I really didn't look at them because I was like, okay, I've got a lot of requests. I'm going to get some reference photos and drop a red panda. They are stinking adorable. If they were an endangered species, I would want to own one as a pet. I just, I would have to have a red panda. So that's my bucket list of things that I will never achieve will be to own a red panda one day, <laughs> which never happened, but you know. So since I can't own one, I will draw one and I'm going to show you how to draw one as well. And because they are super cute, I'm going to do a really super cute version of my red panda. Not this one, this is a painting that I was inspired to do upon looking at reference photos. And if you want to see a more detailed, slower speed painting of this, let me know in the comment section below. I'll put the full thing in that so you can see it. But let's get on to the actual drawing. All right, again, these guys are so cute. And we're gonna do kind of a cartoon base of these. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start off with just kind of the, that dough ball shape here. All right, like so, I'm gonna put that nice circle here. I'm using a, a 2H pencil, so it's a nice hard lead, so it's making a very light line, which is easy to erase. And I'm making that just nice little doughy ball shape for his little head. I'm gonna make it a little bit flatter on top. And you'll see I'm just sketching. I'm not getting that one fine line because I wanna make sure my shape is really, really good. Then I'm gonna put these great rounded, really big and bushy kind of rounded triangles right on top for his ears. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little sitting body here. So I'm gonna bring down along here, so this front part of his little front legs, and then his back, and it kind of booches out just a little bit more for his little kind of like haunches or back end. And then they have these amazing gigantic tails. And I read in, in one um, kind of facts about red pandas, I read that they use their tails to keep themselves warm. And so I'm gonna just feature that, so I'm gonna kind of draw out the shape or the line, the motion I want in that, and then I'm gonna fluff that up just a little bit. And it kind of rounds off at the end. And kind of play with that, see if that's what I want. Maybe I wanna bring it down just a little bit. So I'll bring it, and that's why we're drawn really lightly, because you can kind of play around to see what the the best fit for your tail will be. Yeah, I like that much better. Like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring his little paws. I'm gonna bring one paw out in front. So I'm gonna kind of bring it out here. And I'm just gonna have it really come to just a really cute little cartoony point to it. And maybe this one kind of up and over his little his little tail, like he's hugging his tail, I don't know. You could have it tucked behind if you want him to stay nice and warm. But they also have, just like a panda, they have an extended wrist bone that really helps them to kind of gather and forage their food. So you can kind of give them these kind of long little legs here. They're just fascinating little creatures. They live in similar locations of, as a regular panda, and they do eat bamboo just like a regular panda, but that's not their only strict diet. They also um, can eat nuts and berries and things like that, but they are endangered, so there's not very many of them left. That'd be a fun thing to do is see one in the wild. All right, so now let's go ahead and give him some fluffy marks. So let's go ahead and just kind of put a little bit of some jagged lines along here out along by his little cheeks. And remember when you're giving your fluffy marks, don't make them all look exactly the same. Give them a little bit of a variance. That'll make them look a little bit more natural, even in a cartoon version like this. I'm also gonna give him just a little bit of fluffiness around by his chest, and maybe just a little bit of fluffiness out by his tail.
Now his face, I'm going to give him really big eyes and I'm going to do it towards the bottom half of his face. Nice and big eyes. And then he's got this adorable little round nose. And then he does have a mouth. I think I'm going to leave the mouth up. Oh wait, I know what I'm going to do. I saw so many pictures of their little tongue sticking out. So I'm going to give him just that little cute kind of like um, flat W shape. And I'm just going to give him this little tongue sticking out. That'll make it very cute. <laughs> Alright, now for his um, facial pattering. Pattering? Pattering? Facial markings. He's got these two little white eyebrows. And you can kind of shape those and design those to kind of give it more of a, of a cute expression, you know, using them actually as eyebrows. And then he has, of course, a white muzzle. And then he has these little marks that come up underneath his eyes, and kind of wrap down around his face. There we go. And then his body is his kind of this bottom part is all kind of um, brown and he's got some rings on his tail, kind of like a raccoon. I don't know if you have raccoons in your country. We have lots of raccoons in North America, especially where I live. They're not as cute as this guy. So I'm going to put some kind of, so I'm going to put some nice little jaggy marks there to make those kind of raccoon stripes. And then I'm going to go ahead and give him a little bit of texture inside of his ears. Maybe some texture lines to make his ears look extra fluffy and adorable. Okay, for his eyes, there's lots of things you can do, but you want to put the pupil slightly off from the center. It's going to give him kind of more of a focus look like he's looking at you a little bit more in that spot. That I'll keep that white there. Once he's drawn up the way you like him, you can go ahead and ink him in. So I finished inking him in, and now I can decide how I want to color him. I can do it with color pencils, or watercolors, or markers, or I could just leave him like this, and he's very cute. I'm going to go ahead and color him in with my, my color pencils. I'm thinking about doing some tutorials uh, on how to do color pencil work, um, kind of kind of like what I did, kind of like what I've been doing with my watercolor 101 videos. Do a color pencil 101 video. <laughs> so if that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below um, if, if that, you know, is that high on your list of things you want to see or yeah, it's okay, but maybe not right away or yeah, I'm not interested. Let me know and I'll kind of know how soon to put that in my priority list. I'm also getting a lot of comments on people wanting to learn um, digital art. Um, I do a lot of drawing off using Photoshop and on my tablet and a lot of people asking, you know, kind of how to get started with that. So let me know between those two, which series would you like to see next after the watercolor video is done? Would you like to see more digital art series or would you like to see a color pencil series? So let me know. There we go. Our finished cute panda. Well, I hope you enjoyed drawing this red panda with me today. And if this is the first time that you've ever really gotten to see a red panda and maybe you just discovered how insanely adorably cute they are and you wish that you could own one as your own personal little pet, let me know in the comment section below that I'm not the only one out there that wants to own a red panda pet. Yay! <laughs> but until we get to own panda pets, we can definitely draw and create our own fun red panda pets. So if you create your own or draw your own, make sure to post those on my Facebook page or Instagram so I can take a look at them. I'd love to see them and see how cute they are. Um, if you want to own this one as your very own, I'm going to be putting him up on my Etsy shop. And they're very tiny. He won't take up much room and he doesn't eat much. Please take me home with you. <laughs> yeah, so head over to my Etsy shop if you want to find out more information on how to buy this guy or a bunch of his brothers and sisters or other painted creations and things like that. And until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.